I just went to Starbucks to order a vanilla latte with an extra shot, and as I am walking up to the door, I happen to notice this beautiful girl walking up to the door as well, and she has a Death Cab for Cutie t-shirt on. That's been my favorite band since I was 14 years old. I am 32 now. That's 18 years of loving this band. So as I take, you know, I take a quick two-step to open the door for her, and I'm like, hey, you have great taste in music. That's been my favorite band since I was 14 years old. And she looks at me and she just says, cool. Three three different occasions. Okay, the first time he held the door. Okay, and now you holding the door, you said something about her t-shirt. So by the second time you said something and you noticed that she's brushing you off, I wouldn't even let said anything go. the he third should, time. He should, he so the second time he's told some the, the type of latte or whatever she got. Oh, that's the same kind I'm, that I'm getting. So why are you even paying attention to what I'm ordering? All right, so, so we got video, video, video number four. Number four. We got a man speaks on what it's like being sing a single man in your thirty. We all we we we, we, you got we, something to we say, know CJ? about that. Mm. Yeah, we know about that. So wait, hold up. Before I start the video, so T, how would tell me how is it being a single man in your thirties? <laughs> I'm gonna take the shit out of you. <laughs> 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 this your he is so disrespectful. <laughs> this Rita, <laughs> where Rita at? <laughs> this dumb podcast. You get on my nerves. You just straight oh, on my let's nerves. Let's go. <laughs> it's not easy to be a single man in your thirties in America today. I just went to Starbucks to order a vanilla latte with an extra shot, and as I am walking up to the door, I happen to notice this beautiful girl walking up to the door as well, and she has a Death Cab for Cutie T-shirt on. That's been my favorite band since I was fourteen years old. I am thirty. Now that's 18 years of loving this band. So as I take, you know, I take a quick two step to open the door for her, and I'm like, "Hey, you have great taste in music. That's been my favorite band since I was 14 years old." And she looks at me and she just says, "Cool." And she walks straight to the counter, which I recognized I was giving up the first spot in line by opening the door for it. Not a big deal. When she gets to the counter, she orders a vanilla latte with an extra shot. And in my heart, I'm kind of like. That's pretty cool. What a coincidence. So I go up to the cashier when it's my turn, and I'm like, I'm actually going to order the same thing that she just ordered. She was like, great, it'll be right out. Now, there is no place to sit in the Starbucks. There's just this coffee tory area in front of the counter. So as we're both waiting, I just look over at the gal, and I'm like, so what's your favorite album by Death Cab? And she looks over at me with a glare, and she is like, stop talking to me. I'm not remotely interested. And she says it loud enough for the entirety of the Starbucks to hear, and everybody in the Starbucks looks at me, and at that point, the only sound I'm hearing is the chorus of hey ya, and silence is loud. And I gotta be honest, I have never been such a deer in headlights. I had never been so immediately like, what did I do wrong? Uh, and everything in me wanted to just, you know, in hurt, be like, honey, I'm gay. You could do worse than me. But I wasn't going to lie and throw the gay community under the bus just because somebody hurt my feelings and was rude. But I have no idea where I went wrong there. I, 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 I'm so puzzled. I thought I was being nice. What did I do? Uh -oh. She wasn't interested, oh, man. He got to learn can, how to read the signs, you can, yeah, you man. Can, you can definitely look at yeah, it a couple uh, of ways. Hey, start off, bro. Start off. It's three things for me. Number one, there's a thing called like being smooth or having swag or there's different things that it. like men have that make them attractive, not just by their physical looks. Mm -hmm. He had none of them. So that's number one. When you don't, when you seem awkward, like women can tell two things. When a man is awkward and when he don't have confidence. So like you came off real, I don't want to say weird, but it was just weird. So that's number one. Then number two, you like, uh oh, that so and so is my favorite group. And I, how do you even know that she knows a group? It's a t shirt. She could have just been wearing a t shirt. Like, he just, he, he didn't have, he didn't possess the skills to pull that woman. And, she, okay. and number three, but, she just was not interested in you, bro. Yeah. yeah. And just, you, you could tell, like, it's very easy to, to know when a girl is not interested. She don't even give you any kind of inclination that she's wants to even say something to you so then you just let it go he okay. was trying just trying too hard so again mm -hmm. he shows me he's the type of guy that's not used to getting women because you would know that if he you said he it, was but gay. yeah yeah he done, oh, well, he hold, on, hold on hold on you, that was number three <laughs> <laughs> i don't care how many, how many women, numbers <laughs> i don't care how many women deny me in my lifetime the one thing i ain't never doing is saying i'm a part of the lgbtqia plus community 
community. It mm-hmm. ain't ha- that's now, not well. You know, yeah, I but he's I believe he said because his his feelings was hurt. But no, but, but, I don't care. But but, but before I pass I it to T, uh, like I, I, I oh, hold on, I, hold on, T. Now now Ty says she could have said it in a different way. She could have. Still has nothing to do with her being rude and nasty. That's true. Yeah. That right, is she. true. I, I agree with you on a lot of things, CJ, and today that is not one. What? The reason why is because it's just conversation. If somebody's approaching, and that's the problem now these days, people think that, okay, just because someone says something to them, that doesn't necessarily mean somebody's trying to approach them to date them. Somebody could just, like, perfect example. I teach my sons to be to, to have good manners hold the door say hello and stuff like that just because they're doing that doesn't mean that they're trying to crack on you or trying to trying to mm. t- trying to get with you so it's, it's about you know being respectable and have manners so she could have said it differently i don't agree with how she was like okay i'm not interested she could have just said okay well you know what uh you know you know she could have said it different yeah. i just don't Instead agree with to put how, on blast. yeah i don't i don't agree with how she handled that Cause it seems like he was just really just trying to be nice, honestly. But if he is, you know, no, gay, no, 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 I, and no. I, and I, yeah, he, he no. wasn't. I, I, I no. believe he said it. That was just well, going to be his well, defense he, mechanism. That was, yeah, yeah, that no. was that was like yeah, uh, but not uh, something to try to protect his feelings. Yeah, but then also at the same time, okay, yeah, he was being a little weird because that's like if you if you think about it, based on what he said. Three, three different occasions. Okay, the first time he held the door. Okay, and now you holding the door. You said something about her T-shirt. So by the second time you said something and you noticed that she's brushing you off, I wouldn't even let said anything go. the he third should, time. He he so the second time he told some the, the type of latte or whatever she got. Oh, that's the same kind I'm, that I'm getting. So why are you even paying attention to what I'm ordering? But then he and went then to go you sit go and next sit to down. Yo, and so then that's, and that's when yeah. things get a little weird. Once you sit down and then you asking me what, what, what's my favorite song by this group? Because now it's like, okay, now you, you, you reaching too much. Like ahead, you're doing CJ. a little bit too much. Go ahead, close it. Take it home. <laughs> <laughs> Again, at the end of the day, <laughs> cornball tendencies. He he just he just it didn't scream like, hey, like he, 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 it just, just didn't. Just because somebody's a cornball means they don't they don't they don't deserve respect. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm just saying at the end of the day, when you approach a woman, like he didn't. T- to me, he didn't have like that that it factor. It was just like I'm pretty sure the way he's saying it right now is not hey. So somebody has to have the it factor yes, just to have a conversation? Y- y- yes, because again, if, if at the end of the day, she's probably a woman. She probably gets cracked on all day. So she's just trying to fill out what this is. He probably came over like, hey, oh my gosh, you're getting a vanilla latte? That's what I'm getting. She's like, what the? Okay. Yeah, well you got some people that are really friendly like no. that, though. I, and again, they I really just, are. I, I mean, it could be irritating, but it's people that I know personally that are friendly and it's irritating as crap. And, and I know them and they're like that every time. I see them right so at the end of the day if that person tried to talk to you you would be like this person's irritating right. no so that's what I'm saying <laughs> so that's, that's what I'm saying by by interaction three yeah like we pull me you wear yeah, yeah like the, let, let it go so, what are we going? so so one commenter said get that passport ready bro <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going over there and getting no, no play not no. with that yeah so all right another comment said He's got to work on his appearance. You can't control your looks, but you can control your appearance. That's true. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree I mean, with that. I mean, he knows how to put it together. You, you, like, I yeah. mean. Yeah, I mean, listen, if, if you got that, if you got that, you don't, listen, you don't got to be handsome. Yeah, but let's Lord, just say you, you got just that swag. That's you what got I'm that, saying. Let's just say he just you know ran I mean? out the door with a pair of sweatpants and a shirt. Like, but, and he just went to go just get his latte. Like, but I mean, if you still got the swag, you can make, you can wear some Because like, I've been sweats. outside with, with, with work, workout clothes on and, and still get cracked on. Well, like, you're a woman. Men are cracked on <laughs> all women. So y'all could be in a cardboard box. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but with us, it's different. Like, you got to, even if he was out with, box. even if he has a, uh, 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 his sweat clothes on or whatever yeah it's, again it's, with, it's the swag women call it big d energy you gotta just have that energy even if you all got the d but you still gotta have the energy like you you showing up masculine if you coming up and you looking all frail and oh i got a latte and it's just like bro you don't seem like you got that energy the, yeah, exactly it's like nah it's it's, it's, it's off yeah, yeah. that's you, you know right saying? that's right this joint podcast y'all make sure you drop this a like drop joint. a comment like, comment you know i'm saying tell us what you think